we can revisit some places and unsail more trinities. Wasn't there a trinity mark in the accessory shop? Could this torn page be from Merlin's book? Let's return to town and give it to him. Okay, let's go back to Trevor's town. I'm just quickly looking at... I want the next thing at the Olympus Coliseum to happen. But let's go back to Trevor's town for now. And thank crap we have the warp drive. Oh my god, I hate flying around the gummy ship every time. It's so bad. <sighs> and let's go back to the accessory shop. Because there is, as they said, a green trinity mark in the accessory shop. And let's just activate that right now. You guys will see what this does. <laughs> da -da -da -da. A ladder. I think that's the only kind of thing it does. It always just gets ladders and things. But there you go. We're in the accessory shop upper floor thing. And we can get us some chests. Found Dalmatians. Awesome. Mithril shard. Nothing else lying around. Yeah, we can't. What is this? Obtain postcard. There you go. There was something else lying around here. Um. God damn it. Okay, let's just talk to this guy. See what he has to say. First, you have to listen to his explanation, Kupo. We can use your items to make new, unusual items, Kupo. Let us make something for you, Kupo. Bring back a bunch of items from our travels. I'm not going to continue saying keyboard every time. Welcome. Let's synthesize. So we can make this stuff, and it requires the stuff on the right. Um, although we, we don't have enough of anything to make anything. This is all crap anyway. We don't want to make any of that crap. What do you say? Someday we'll make the ultimate weapon, so bring us all the items you can. And that is exactly why... Uh, those guys exist. All the other synthesized things are crap, basically. Like, you can synthesize all these different items and stuff, and that's great. Or, you can make the Ultima Weapon. We got an elixir, I don't think we have any more postcards. No, we don't. Yeah, so at the end of the game, we're gonna make the Ultima Weapon using those dudes. And it's gonna be amazing. And, and you're gonna love it. And it'll take me years to get <laughs> all the items required, but I'll get it. I'll get it. Don't you worry about that. Well, let's just go see Merlin the Bastard. And I don't remember, is there a green trinity here or is that a white trinity that I'm thinking of? Might be a white trinity, I think, but we'll have a look. Anyway, yellow trinity it is actually, so nothing we can do yet. Oh, let's get in here. Give Merlin his page of the book. Merlin, Merlin, we have a page of your book. Uh, except that you don't want to do anything with that. We got another stone, didn't we, as well? Did we? Did we get another stone? I don't remember. I'm so worried. No, okay, we definitely didn't get another stone. I guess we just got, like, a pretty stone or whatever, and I remember that. Let's examine a little book. Awesome. So, um, as you can obviously determine, all of these white spots are pages missing from the book. And that is the thing to return to the thing. And now we can go there, or is this a thing? No, I thought that would be. Let's go read this page. An empty meadow. Take a look. wrong? Nothing. I just thinking. Oh. I was thinking of how to say goodbye to Pooh. Pooh? 
Yes. Wait a second. You're Pooh? Yes, I'm Winnie the Pooh. Pooh for short. Who are you? I'm Sora. Oh, hello, Sora. Have you come to say goodbye to Pooh, too? Well, no. Why would I do that? We've only just met. Because everyone's gone away. What do you mean? Well, we all left here in the Hundred Acre Wood. And we'd take walks together. Or play poo sticks. And every day, I'd eat some honey. Or just one small smackerel would taste very good right now. But now, everyone is gone. All my friends, and my favorite honey tree, too. Everyone must have gone away while I was napping, I think. So, who knows? Maybe I shall end up going away somewhere as well. But I wonder, how do I say goodbye to myself? Think, think, think. Oh, my tumbly is getting rather rumbly. <laughs> Have you come to say goodbye to Pooh, too? <laughs> oh my god. I love this. It's just fantastic. Um, notice how it said 100, and then it also said 100 underneath the 100. So it was 100, 100 acre wood, which means it's a 10,000 acre wood. Which is rather a large wood. Nothing else to do here, though. So let's return to the map. And, um, there's a save point there. We can dodge all around. Here's something else to do, actually. An odd sign hangs above this house's door. Take a look. Sure. So that other spot that we were in, the meadow, is what is in the book by default. And this is the page that we just received, so let's quickly take a look around. Make sure there are no chests anywhere. Can we smash the window? Damn. Clearly been playing too much Grand Theft Auto. Hey, we activated something. I figured we would hitting that, but what up, man? Have we met before? Welcome to the 100 Acre Wood. So it, it's actually not a 10,000 Acre Wood, just a 100 Acre Wood. But, can we fire this? Fire! We can! Awesome! What I actually want to quickly do is change Lazara to Thunder, because that is better. Wait, that's, what does, what does Arrow do? De deploys a barrier that absorbs damage. So it does absorb damage, okay. Um, can we, oh, we can pull the thing. Wait, hit, no, don't hit, pull. If we pull that multiple times, does it do something? Normally three times. Ring also. Okay, I guess that does nothing. Let's just go into Mr. Sanders' house. No oh, bother. There's no more honey left. If only the honey tree would visit. Oh, then I could eat my fill. Poor poo, no honey for you. What is obtained mega ether? Oh, obtained elixir. Oh, oh, oh. So we can open that randomly. I swear there's supposed to be some honey. So, oh, that was the mega ether that we just got was from hitting that thing. I swear there's supposed to be some honey around here. Or maybe we do something with this clock. What if we just continue? There's some honey behind that. Well, there's a honey pot at least. Up there. Can I get that for poo? I want to get him some honey, man. And examining that a third time still does nothing. Okay. Always got to examine things three times in this game. 
Nothing lying around. Can we we can't jump out the window. Let me guess, you'd like to know what happens next. Unfortunately, some of the page is missing, so I can't tell you yet. The page is scattered over many worlds. Would you find them for us? Oh. So... That is done, I guess. Oh, we've already got this one, this one as well. Have we found two pages already? I don't know how many pages we've got. A tall, curious tree buzzing with bees. Take a look. Is anyone there? What am I to do? I'm all alone. Pooh. Pooh. Where are you? It's me, Piglet. Uh, so I guess this is the world that we got from that, um, page. And the other, or the, the, this is the, like, page that we got from finding that page. And the other thing was also there by default, but after you get it from, Hey, what's up, man? Oh, oh dear. I was just, just, never mind. I'm sorry. Don't be scared. You're looking for Pooh, right? You know Pooh. <sighs> oh, you see, I, I have something for him. I have to take it to Pooh right away. <laughs> oh, Pooh! Oh, I believe I smell a delicious something. A something like honey. Poo. Hello, Piglet. How have you been? Oh, I'm so glad to see you. I thought you'd gone away. I brought what you asked for. <laughs> Thank you, Piglet. Now I can finally have some honey. Really? But, 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 but how? I shall hold on to the balloon and fly like a bee up the honey tree, see? But if you take their honey, won't the bees be angry? Hmm. Oh. Good grief. I'm just constantly laughing throughout all the cutscenes in this in this in this place. So funny. We'll talk about poo. Oh, I found poo. If you could only chase away those bees, I'm quite certain I could get a small morsel of honey. Would you help me get some honey? Sure. Easy, mate. Oh, hello there, Owl. Good day, Poo. What are you doing? Using a balloon to get some honey? Splendid idea. Allow me to offer a few pointers. I am. Now, Pooh can get honey by floating up the tree with this balloon. The honey is inside the tree hollows, not the beehives you see here. There's quite a lot of honey in these holes. If Pooh gets too close, the bees will come out to protect their honey. If they get to Pooh, they'll pop his balloon, lock onto the bees, and swat them away. The more time Pooh is at each hollow, the more honey he can eat. There's more honey higher up, too. If jumping from branch to branch proves difficult, try the rush command. Rush can help you catch up to Pooh quickly, but it isn't fully reliable. Good luck. Oh dear. So this is like an extremely painful 
mini game um, that everyone who's ever played Kingdom Hearts hates to play. Ugh. Yeah, it's a real bastard. Hopefully it won't be too hard though, and to be fair, I should have equipped uh, the Jungle King before doing this, but I didn't remember that, the, the, that this was this mini game. So, come on, give me a give me a break, mate. Give me a break. Oh, gotcha. You gotta wait until they get close to poo before you swat them away. And basically all I'm doing right here is standing here. No! God damn it, how do I rush? No! God damn it! That was a son of a bitch. Oh my god, this is why it's painful. You miss them once. And then suddenly, god damn it. God damn it. Okay. Suddenly you're all the way down at the bottom of the tree. You know. Saying, well, shit, I'm completely screwed. It's a real bugger of a thing sometimes. But we can do it. He's got 55 honey, which I guess isn't too bad, probably. Oh god. God damn it. And that's the fail. Oh god damn it, I was right there too. Oh my god, the frustration. Let's just wait here for Pooh to get back up. Ugh, I'm sickened by my own lack of skill in this minigame. And I can tell my viewers are just, you know, rolling in their graves. Because I know you guys are all technically dead, as announced by the coroner. Let's just stand here. I feel like it. No, because one might come out of the beehive right beside him. This, this is fine. Okay, good job. Son of a bitch, son of a bitch, son of a bitch, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch, son of a bitch. No. Oh, god damn it, god damn it, god damn it, god damn it. Oh, yes. God damn it. This is such a screwball. Rush, 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 rush. Rush, rush, god damn it. Oh, got it. Okay, we managed to keep him freaking away from the bees for a moment. God damn it. Okay, okay, we're doing fine. We're doing great. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I apologize to the one viewer who's already told me that they're <laughs> so frustrated by how um, casually I was taking the game and how I wasn't doing what I was supposed to be doing immediately and all that kind of stuff. Because you're probably like yelling at the screen at how bad I am. And I'm sorry, you know who you are. Oh, god damn it. Shout out to you for watching all my videos. All my Kingdom Hearts videos. It is rather funny what I will do for honey. <laughs> Taunton page turned into a new item. Obtained Nature Spark. I don't know what Nature Spark is or what it does. It's a gem emanating a strange vitality. Oh my god, it's a summon. Okay, I don't think we've unlocked any more things here. We've already been to that one. And all of these ones are all grayed out. All that stuff. So let's return to the Fairy Godmother. Because we have a new summon gem. And Nature Spark. I can't remember what Nature Spark is. But I guess we'll find out in a few seconds. So it's not like a, a huge, huge deal. Just... Why isn't she always standing there as a fairy godmother? It's kind of annoying. We have to go through that every time. Luckily we don't talk to her much. Oh, another summon gem. Let's help this little one. Here we go. Bibbity bobbity boo. Oh, Bambi. Wow. I forgot that that even existed in the game. If you find any more of these stones, bring them to me. Okay, and with that, uh, we're done. We're done here, I think, in Trevor's town, and travel to the gummy ship.